A big fight keep coming your way on Box Night. Two British title fights on the line next month. Leon Williams headlining in his home city of Cardiff, defending the light middleweight belt against a tricky Ahmet Patterson. And also on that bill, Tommy Langford and Sam Sheedy head to head for the vacant British middleweight title. November 26th, right here on Box Nation. The action keeps uh, coming then from, from Bolton. You're looking at uh, Leon Woodstock wearing the Leicester City colours, blue and white, from a tough father of Leicester. Just 23, he has won all seven. Let's get the official introductions from Mark Burdis. Our next bout this evening is a six three-minute round to international contest in the super featherweight division. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner with a record of 10 wins, 27 losses, with five KOs to his name. Weighing in nine stone, four pounds, two ounces. And tonight, he wears the black and white shorts. Please welcome, from Croatia, Antonio Horvatic. And across the ring in the blue corner, with an unbeaten record of seven wins, with three KOs to his name. Weighing in nine stone, five pounds, six ounces, and tonight he wears the blue shorts. Please welcome from Leicester, Leo Woodstock. Your referee, Mr. Phil Edwards of Preston, will now give his final instructions to both boxers. My instructions when I say break, break cleanly and take a step back. Watch your heads in close. Remember, defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, six three-minute rounds. Well, looking forward to getting a look at Leon Woodstock from the Beaumont Lees area of Leicester. A tough council estate, that one, or at least part of it is. Got the Lionel, Lionel Messi haircut and he's got the Leicester City colours. Leicester getting a good win today, comfortable winners. In fact, they've had quite a good week, haven't they? Had that European victory yeah. as well. Antonio Horvatic, familiar figure on these shores, now 29 years old, the Croatian. Had 14 fights last year, lasted seven rounds against Luis Petit, but dramatically knocked out by Mitchell Smith. Woodstock used to have a reputation of being a bit of a banger when he was an amateur. Nowadays, he says, more of a boxer. Yeah, but he is. He's, he's, he's still always looking for that big punch all the time. He really is. And he's a good, he's a good boxer with lovely skills, and, and, he, and he likes to entertain, so he drops his hands, so he likes to show vote. He's getting, been getting some good work around the rings as well, hasn't he? Sparring Ryan Walsh, Terry Flanagan. And I think that experience has made him realise that he can mix it with the, these guys. That's no knockdown, surely. That was just a, a little bit of a hook with the inside of the glove, and the referee says, carry on. Well, also, boxing, sparring people like Ryan, Ryan Walsh, the British champion, and obviously Terry Fanning, a world champion, you realise what it takes to get to championship level and to stay there. But being around those sort of fighters, it brings you on so much. Ooh, not that off with the right hand there. Good stuff. He looks the part, doesn't he? And uh, the showboating, some people get a bit aggravated by that, you know, that sort of thing. But if, it, if he's good enough to do it, uh, yeah. admittedly, this is at a fairly limited level, but if he's good enough to do it, then why not? He's a cocky kid and he's a little bit arrogant, you know, with his work, and that's nothing wrong with that. But I don't think he overplays it too much. I don't think, I think he showboats it a, a little bit, but I don't think he, he does it too much to make it irritatingly you know, horrible or you know, like you want to see him get beat. Clash of heads in there. Nobody culpable, just accidental. And hopefully no damage done. That's a lovely body shot, left hook. Oh, not far off with that uppercut as well. Good stop. Well, he's going looking for him, isn't he? He wants to have a dramatic stoppage win. That certainly looks true now. He's <laughs> tested the power of Horvatic. He's <laughs> pretty much realised he can take anything that comes his way. As you can see, it's all looking fairly contentious. He reminds you a lot of, of Eubank Jr, doesn't he, when he puts his punches together? Like a little mini version of him. Eubank Jr's mini-me, four or five years his junior. 
Morbatic was a karate man once upon a time. You say karate player, don't you? I am going to John. Like judo. Oh, I don't know. So sorry, sorry, John. I, I was looking to you, hoping yeah. for a bit of insight there. Yeah, I... It's a good round there from Woodstock. Back to the back to the, the, the sport you don't play, boxing. And a good little uh, good round there from Leon Woodstock. Yeah, very good. Not good shoot. Ajmal Ooh, Butt in the corner. With Jason McCrory. You okay? Good right. oh boy. Okay. Deep breath, son. Okay, deep breath. You've had a look at him, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You know what you can do. <laughs> Think about which way. Listen. Think about which way he's going. When you're moving him around, you're moving yeah. him up and down. He's not being funny with a show bomb. Let's just do the job, what we've got to come here to do. Set him up, take him out. Okay? Body shot, head shot. Put them together now, right? Put on a little bit of a show, yeah? Aye. Come on. A little bit of a show. Don't mind moving around. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Use your jab to open him up and set things up. Stand up. Well, he says that he's been learning that the jab is his best friend, and you can hear that he's been told there, just set it up with the jab, take him out, and make it look good. And you can't blame him, you know, they know, they know what the opponent is, who he is, that it's not, it's not really going to be a competitive fight, because Woodstock's leagues above, so this guy, you know, is going to come to survive, and he's pretty much saying, you know, intelligently, just get him out of there. Horvitz trying to keep a high guard. Not really throwing anything back of note. And Woodstock just looking for the opportunity to load up with some power shots. That was a good body yeah. shot, nice right hand. He got, is, he got such long arms, haven't he? That he, can get, he can land those body shots from so far out and still be in a, in a safe place. He's a big unit for a super featherweight, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. You wonder if he'll wind up at a, a heavier weight as he gets a little bit older, still only 23. That's good. It was a product of the Leicester Unity Club as an amateur. Pulvertic pretty much exclusively concentrating on defence now. <laughs> Just survival and, mode. And that causes his own problems, because obviously when, when someone's being ambitious, then they, they have gaps in the defence, that's when you can you can land with the clean punches and hurt your opponent, but... Oh, good shot there by Hortovich. But when they just close shop, it's sometimes hard to penetrate the defence. And that's where patience, while, while Woodstock is showing right now, that's where patience is key. Just keep working away without taking too many silly risks. Oh, body shot. Creates the knockdown. Went down onto one knee. As much as to say that was not a knockdown, but it was. Phil Edwards signals it, and it was the body shot that did it. Now can Woodstock do what his trainer suggested and take his man out spectacularly? Well, up. I think he'll do really well to be, get a spectacular knockout, but I think he'll, he'll wear him down. If he keeps that 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 just just over three quarter distance, so because he got such long arms, he's always in a safe place when he throws his punches, puts his punches together. Hordovich can't respond. Switching attack from body to head beautifully there with the right hand. Just change the pace and the weight of the punches. Rally with a few light shots, then whip a, whip a big hard hook over the top. I think you know, if you just reduce the power every now and again, Paul Vich might might be encouraged to throw a shot, then he's open. Well, we'll have a look again at the knockdown between rounds. Paul Vich sees it through, but that'll be a 10 8. Let's take another look at it, Barry. There you go, right hand. Well, the left hand hit the elbow into the rim, so I think the right hand was the one. And I don't think he was seriously hurt. I think he felt it, and he was expecting another shot, so he just took a knee. You know, that, that's an old that's an old throw, just took a knee, you know, just so you can survive. Yeah. When you stay good and you get round him, step across him, so you can do beautiful boxing, yeah. control him, do what you, what you can do, yeah? Right. Close the shoulder, go in there, 
tapping, tapping, but I want to see your feet moving there. You're standing in front of him and lock. See when he moves around the wing, put the wing off and step across it. And then go away once. Corners, 10 oh. seconds. Two rounds out of two for the young Leicester prospect and that knock down in the second round. And he's straight away looking to really load up on these shots. Yeah, he's, he's decided now's enough, enough's enough, it looks like. That's what he wants. He wants Hordovich to fire back. That's when there's gaps in the defence. That's when he can whip. He got faster hands, more accuracy, and, and the longer levers. That's when he's going to get the more success. A little flurry from Hordovich there. Just about his first uh, attacking moment of the fight. Gun shield almost came out yeah. as that right to the body <laughs> landed. Well, that's when he needs to focus. There, isn't it? It's obviously a problem there for Hordovich if he's uh, gone down with the right hook at the body and. Grimmest again from the same shot. Oh! One, two, right hand to the temple again, the momentary touch. Well, I, I, I don't know what. The man at uh, the man at ringside, the timekeeper, gave it and started counting as a knockdown. Referee said, carry on. I thought he momentarily touched down, but maybe not. No, he did. I think it was a right hand over the top, wasn't it? I don't think there was a. Well, it looked like a knockdown. It looked like a knockdown to me, Barry, but not given. I don't think. No, no, you can't, no. And since the referee is the man who scores it, it's not going to be yeah, a 10-8 nice round. Man. Oh, lovely shot. Gumshield, he spat the gumshield out just before it there, hold it is, and clearly spat the gumshield out. Well, the referee knows what's going on, he knows that's another old pro streak. Just buying a little bit of time to recover. I'm not sure he wants too much more of this, Horvatic. He's getting a bit of a hammering now. Oh, nice uppercut as well there from Woodstock. Turn his punches together nicely. He's just reduced the work, the work rate a little bit, but I think he's having more success and the punch is a little bit heavier. shot and another that's a right hand repeat of the one that put him down in the in the earlier round out comes the gum shield i think he's had enough and he's taking a knee and it's all over all the tips had enough we could see signs of that earlier and uh, he's been around the game long enough to know that there was little point in continuing and he allowed the count to proceed and to end the fight and Woodstock gets another stoppage win. Well, and you know, I think he's, it wasn't a grand stand finish that he, that he would have won there, but I think it was a good performance again. And it seems to be the theme of the night for these youngsters of, of control display of boxing. How good do you think he is, Barry? Well, I think he needs tests. You no, know, you, he, he looks good in everything he does. He looks like he looks like a, a good a heavy punch without being a, a devastating KO artist. He got fast hands. He, he got a lot of good skills. Paul is a hard opponent to look good against because he closed his shop, but he's got rid of him quite comfortable. He's physically hurt a guy who's, who's hard to hurt clean you know, quite often. So, you know, but he needs bigger tests to prove. You know, when, I think when he comes up against some resistance, a guy with, a, with almost as much skill or, as him, who's tough, who can punch a little bit, and then we'll see what he's got. But I, I think he, I think he's going to prove that he's up to the task. He I think we should be excited about this kid. He absolutely looks the part for me. You could see him developing... A little bit of a following, Leon Woodstock. Here's Mark Burdis with the result. Ladies and gentlemen, at 2 minutes 30 seconds of the third round, Antonio Horvatic has failed to beat the referee's count. The winner in the blue corner from Leicester, Leon Woodstock! Leon Woodstock getting the win he wanted. And, uh, well, he's certainly got some flashy moves. He looked very good, Leon Woodstock, from the tough streets uh, of Leicester, a dedicated trainer. He's been uh, 
sparring with some very good people, been sparring with Terry Flanagan, among others, and he absolutely says those sessions have given him such confidence that he will achieve his dream. Got a lot going for him. He's a good fighter, Jim, and I was I know you were very impressive at what you were saying. It was early as the second round you were on. Yeah. He's a really good fighter. A lot of potential. You know what? I think he only had 25 amateur fights, and I know when he went to Terry Flanagan's gym, they were highly impressed with him. Um, he was I really thought he was a good fighter, and he's shown he's a good fighter. Jason McClory's manager has um, banged on to me about him from day yeah. one. I think he won his first fight in about 38 seconds, and he was rushed out to Bunty's couch the next week. And uh, <laughs> no, Bunty's a big fan. Now, he's a good fighter, but you know what? There's plenty of time. You've got to take into account the short, you know, only 25 amateur fights. He's only had seven, eight fights. Another three or four fights, we can see him in a test. He's developing well. The way he finished the fight was really good, although Horvatic really wanted out of there. And he's yeah. developing from a sort of crash-bang wallop fighter into a real That's proper it. thinking puncher. <laughs> it was just too busy for Horvatic. And by the time the second knockdown came, Jim, the fight had been punched out of Horvatic. Then we saw them when he deliberately spat his gum shield out to try and buy some time. But no, he was he was levels above him. And he's so, there's a lot of fighters around, you know, as I said earlier, we've had between like eight and 12 fights. You know, the guys are Anthony Yard, Zelfru, we saw earlier. Yeah. There's a Manchester Cruiserweight, Jordan Thompson. There's this kid we can we, we can start getting excited about. They're bubbling under in a couple of years. They're going to make their own name. But it's been another great night, Jim. Eight knockdowns so far. Eight, eight knockdowns we, so uh, far. We we're going we're to have a word with Leon with Bunsen. And what did you say, Bunsen? One, two, three, and then four. Close, but no cigar. Another third round one. Yeah, it was close to no cigar, and, and, I, and Leon just said to me, had I told him the fourth round, he would have let me go to the fourth round, so my theory would have held. Leon, you did what you meant to do when you hurt a guy early, you took your time and you took him out. Yeah, exactly, that's what I wanted to do, I just wanted to take my time, use my boxing a little bit more, because, I don't know, I think some people assume that I'm just like, a bit of a crazy come forward fighter, a bit power punch and that, but I, like, I, just, I just wanted to show people I can box as well, do you know what I mean? So, I was looking to get a few rounds, I was a bit disappointed when he stayed down, I wanted to get a few more rounds, but yeah, yeah, it's a good fight, man, nice learning fight. Do you know yeah, you were, you were sinking good shots in, you were taking time, and what's more, you were looking for punches. Yeah, exactly, I weren't forcing it, do you know what I mean? I just letting whatever happen, happen stick behind my jab, because I've got a nice long jab, do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I think I get involved in a fight when I really don't need to, do you know what I mean? I'm starting to think, like, now, like, let me let people earn the right to have a fight with me, do you know what I mean? If you want to have a fight with me, you got to earn it. Once you get past that jab, past my boxing, let's, let's go. <laughs> And it's good that he boxed, but good that he boxed. I know you were happy with it, just the way he was relaxing and boxing. Well, especially after the last fight, um, you know, it was a great performance. He showed a lot of energy, but we, we know Leon's got a lot more about him than that, do you know what I mean? So it was nice to see him that. You probably heard me shouting, set your shots up, you know? That's what it's all about. Long liberty and being smart. Now, he does an awful lot of... I know he, he takes care of kids in the ring and he hasn't really been tested. And tonight wasn't a test, it was, it was professional boxing. That's the business we're in. But he does do a lot of good sparring with a lot of good people. Listen, we've been moving around with some of the best people in the country, from uh, Terry Flanagan to the Walshes, and I could mention many. And um, they've been absolutely top class. They've helped Leon, they've brought him along, and they've shown Leon, really, you can't just walk through everyone. They're tough boys. And uh, it's really brought Leon a lot, to be honest with you. It really has. Leon, I've been asking kids tonight where they want to be in 12 months' time. I'll come to you in a minute, Hud, you can tell me. Where do you want to be in 12 months' time? Well, to be honest, I want to get, uh, I think my next fight is going to be an eight rounder. That's what I'm looking to do, get a nice eight rounder in. And then for my 10th or 11th fight, get some sort of title. That's what I'm looking for to do. I want to get some sort of gold around my waist and then start challenging big opposition. Like, I'm willing to fight anyone. I'm not like being egotistical about it, but I'm a fighter at heart. Do you know what I mean? I ain't afraid to fight no one. In the weight division, like anyone, I ain't bothered whether they're a prospect, whether they're higher um, on paper than me, I ain't too fussed. But I'll only fight whoever they'll put in front of me, do you know what I'm saying? So I'm ready for whoever, literally I am. I'll be ready for, whenever they put me in with someone that you're going to class as a test, that then so be it. Let's see what happens, do you know what I'm saying? It's a great attitude, but you're in the corner, more, you know, you're father figure to a degree as well. I mean, anyone that gets close to a fighter, you know, yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> As, as much as he says that I'm ready to fight anybody, you know that's not the way it works. No, no. Um, that's why we've been getting the quality rounds in with quality fighters. We are with Frank, as you know, and uh, Jason McClory, top people. They're not going to let us make any silly mistakes. They're not going to let us make schoolboy as They're bringing us along nicely. And for them guys to believe in Leon, was a massive boost to Leon. He's just an estate kid. You know, he had, he had nothing growing up, do you know what I mean, apart from his mother. You know, and, uh, you know, and to see him 
develop into the person he is today and to have the people around us, man, it's, it's a blessing, you know? You know what? There's a lot of people care a lot about you. You're not going to let anybody down, are you, in the next 12 months or so? No, I don't plan on doing that at all. Come on, man. I just want to say big, big thank yous to um, uh, Jason McClory, to Frank Warren for giving me this opportunity to Rain get here. Do you know what I mean? Rain them still, yeah. They're doing their job. Do you know what I'm saying? My sponsor, Stom uh, Thomas Cassie's Roofing Company, helped out so much. Without them, I wouldn't even be able to go do all this travelling to go see Terry Flanagan, to go see the Walshes. Wouldn't happen. Do you know what I'm saying? So these, all these people are like all the jigsaw pieces to making the finished picture. Do you know what I mean? Germany, um, my, my girl Paige, Paige Manny, she's just been, been picked to represent England, so we're off to uh, Germany um, to go and to support Paige, so yeah, yeah, all the best Paige. <laughs> I tell you what, it's a loving down here, but you know what, Barry's absolutely right, there's that degree of arrogance, Jim, but there's also that true streak of being humble, and you know why that is? Because if you're not humble in Leicester, people soon tell you off for being not humble. It's that simple. Back to you, Jimbo. I'll take your word for that, uh, Steve, definitely. Um, but uh, I'll tell you what, good on Leon there. Excellent in the ring and reeling off the sponsors and the thanks afterwards. What a class act. And saying he wants some gold there stuff around his waist too. And one or two champions wandering around Leicester at the moment. Yeah. He could well be joining them down the line. Hey, he's, he's, one, he's another one I've said before. I'm one of them fighters in Britain that are just all bubbling under who are going to crack it in, in a couple of years' time. You know what? That was a nice interview. I mean, he's a really nice kid. You can just tell that and yeah. the, the trainer with they're warm people. And just one thing, uh, Buncey there saying you're not going to let anybody down over the next 12 months. I mean, looking at him, looking at the condition he's come in, looking at the way he conducted himself here tonight, I would say emphatically that is very, very unlikely. He will be unbeaten in 12 months' time. Log it. He'll be unbeaten in 18 it. months' time. <laughs> Log it. Lilith just said so. <laughs> We're going to log you a few more fights in a few minutes' time.